Hello. Open Nebula 6.0 brings new edge computing features that enable IT organizations to on-demand deploy true hybrid and multi-cloud environments that avoid vendor lock-in, reduce operational costs, expand service availability, and enables new ultra-low latency applications. Today, I will run through one of the spearhead features in Open Nebula 6.0, the new FireEdge provisioning tool. FireEdge is a new intuitive interface, allowing you to easily manage public cloud and edge providers and provision them as edge clusters to be used within Open Nebula based on KVM, LXC system containers or Firecracker micro VMs. In this demo, I will show you how to easily deploy a remote edge cloud using resources from Amazon Web Services. For that, we will use the new FireEdge tool to add AWS as a provider. Then. We'll provision some resources on a specific AWS availability zone so that we can deploy an Open Nebula Edge cluster. Finally, we'll download a WordPress virtual appliance from the Open Nebula marketplace and we'll instantiate a VM for that WordPress service on the Edge cluster. Here you can see how the whole process works in the new Open Nebula 6.0. First, we add the provider, in this case, AWS. Then we provision the Open Nebula Edge clusters we access the Open Nebula marketplace to download a virtual appliance, and finally, we deploy the application at the edge locations. It's as simple as that. So let's do it. First off, you log into FireEdge with the same credentials as in Sunstone, Open Nebula's graphical user interface. Now, let's create a provider. You can do so by filtering based on the supported virtualization technologies. In 6.0, we have provided support for Equinix Metal and AWS, and more will be added in the future. Select the availability zone or location, and choose the name and the description of the said provider. Finally, connect the API credentials from your selected provider. In our case, I'm adding the access key and security key that you can retrieve from the AWS console. Clicking Finish will add the provider and allow us to provision compute resources on Open Nebula via the same UI. Now we will provision some resources on the provider that we just created. Firstly, we need to select the provisioning template, and then we select the provider that we created previously. We then need to provide a name for the cluster and a description, and then we go to define the number of hosts, the number of public IPs to make available, and the specification of the AWS instances. In just a few moments, you will see that the new cluster is being provisioned. Using Terraform, the AWS instances are getting created and then automatically added and configured inside of Open Nebula using Ansible. Once this has been completed, you will be able to go into the provision and see all the specification of the cluster. You'll be able to see the data stores that have been configured the networks that have been created, and all of the hosts. Now let's log into the Sunstone UI to see the cluster that we've just provisioned. We can now browse to the infrastructure tab and see the cluster, all of the hosts, the network that was created, including all of the public IPs, as well as the data store that has been configured automatically. We can then go to the marketplace to download an application from the Open Nebula public repository. Here we will select the WordPress application and download this to our AWS data store. Now we will open up the virtual machines. We will click the plus button to create one, select our WordPress template we just downloaded, we can add a, a name for the virtual machine in here, and if you want to edit any of the custom attributes of the template, you can here as well. Once you click the Create button, it will start building the virtual server. Now click on the newly built VM and you'll be able to see the status. Within just a couple of minutes, you, you will see it move into running and then the VM will be accessible. As this is built from an appliance, you'll be able to copy the IP address, paste it into your browser and you will see the installation wizard for WordPress. Thank you for listening.